Welcome to the tutorial on how to read books in eBrary. eBrary books can be accessed through the library catalog or via the link on the database page. This is the main search screen for eBrary. Type your search terms in the box above or browse through the available titles using the Browse All Titles link. Once you have a list of books, you can use the subject terms in the box above to focus your search and reduce the number of records. There are a couple things you can do with eBrary books before you open them. Clicking on Table of Contents will give you a method of quickly navigating to each chapter and will also tell you how many times your keywords appear in each chapter. The Find Similar button will pull up eBooks with similar topics to the one you clicked. The other two buttons will only work if you've signed into a personal account with eBrary. The download button downloads a copy of the book for you to read offline. The Add to Bookshelf button saves the book to your bookshelf for later perusal. To enable these buttons, and many other features, you can create a free account with eBrary by clicking on the Sign In link along the top and then clicking Create Account. Going back to the result list, you can enter the book itself by clicking on the title. The Book Intro screen allows you the same options as the buttons on the previous screen, plus a Cite Book button to get a full citation for the book, and a more specific Chapter Download link to download select chapters. Click on the title or on Read Online to start reading the book. You can navigate either by scrolling down or by clicking the left and right arrows. As long as you're logged in, you can click the bookmark on the book to mark the page that you're currently in. The buttons on the left allow you to navigate as well. You can browse through the table of contents, or you can search within the book for specific words or phrases. The book icon on the top left will keep track of how many pages you can copy or print. There are also a number of buttons along the top of the book that provide more options. The first battery of buttons replicates the options in the book intro screen, downloading chapters, printing, citation, and so forth. The next set of buttons allows you to annotate, highlight, or bookmark a book. Any changes you make will be permanent as long as you are logged in to your account. Marking a book in any of these ways will also automatically put the book on your personal bookshelf. The last battery of buttons allows you to zoom in and out on a book. You can access your personal bookshelf by clicking on the bookshelf link on the top of the page. There it will list your books and any additions you have made to them such as annotations, bookmarks, and highlights. You can create folders to put your books in by clicking on Add Folder. Then click and drag a book to put it in the folder. These are the basic skills you need to use eBrary eBooks. Happy reading!